My thoughts, my thoughts, my thoughts on Peggy Hubbard. Peggy Hubbard. My thoughts. My thoughts. You know, you know, I'm going to tell you something about this situation here. Social media is in an uproar due to what the stuff the sister then spoke about. As far as the nine year old precious little girl that got killed by a stray bullet or what have I think she was sitting in the house or something. But it was a drive by shooting and a nine year old girl ended up winding up dead because of a violent act due to misunderstanding. These these young guys are not formally trained military military training or they have no formal training in the military or police tactics. And they get heavy heavy caliber weapons, chase who they trying to get, and they scatter all the bullets and, and innocent bystanders get hit. And it's been going on. But the outcry was this the uh, she's pissed off cause the Black Lives Matter movement in St. Louis was protesting for the young man that got killed by the police because there was an altercation. They was serving him a warrant and he had a gun that was unregistered. Then he popped back at the cops and of course the cops popped back at him and at, at the end of the day he wound up going to the mall. I'm going to go deep in this, very deep, and I hope y'all understand where I'm coming from from this topic about Peggy Hubbard. I'm going to use her as a catalyst. I'm going to use her as a platform to expound and critique. And I'm going to make this very lengthy to a, to the extent y'all can really grasp what I'm talking about, understand what I'm talking about. Now, I'm a former hip hop person, still is. I'm from that old school era. These guys was before their time. These guys spoke about stuff that's happening right now. I need y'all. I'm a reference an album. It's called Bounty. It's Home Evasion. Ice T. Body Count. Ice T. And he made an album about home evasion. He made a, a, a track about home evasion, and he made a and he made a track about uh, body count. And I'm telling you, when he made that, he was speaking about what's going on right now. Sometimes hip hop in the past, it's like history books to what's going on now. And it brings forth the truth. So I'll reference that. I, refer I reference that because I need y'all to go on YouTube and listen to that man's album. I think it was 1993. I believe it came out in 1993. And he talks about home invasions. And he talks about cop. Uh, uh, he made a joint called Cop Killer. And Body Count. <clears throat> and the similarities in the lyrics of, of what's going on now. And I need to reference another hip hop album. You Can't Stop the Prophet. To rule the damage or J rule the damage. He talks about all the dilemmas and, and and the pitfalls of the housing projects. He talks and he used a, he, and he used a cartoon so he can grasp us when we was growing up watching Rap City and that thing stood on top top one chops for a minute. And it was a positive rap. He talks about Mr. Greedy, Mr. Envy, Mr. Uh, Jealousy. It's, a, it's, it's like three, or I don't know how many pots he made to it, but I need you, I need y'all young guys, dig in the crates, look at them old Ice T albums, listen to them, look at them old uh, J. Rude Damager albums, and look at them, and bring, and bring them up to date, and I bet you, you say, God damn, this OG know what he talking about, because this is happening to us, oh yes it is. I'm using Peggy Hubbard because 
somehow she put a nail in a coffin to speak. And I heard the comments, everyone calling her uh, uh, this, that, and the third. But I'm going to tell you something. She has a right to freedom of speech. Do I agree with what everyone say on social media? No, I don't. I take out the stuff collectively, and the stuff I don't like, I just don't like. But she got a point. You fire back at the cops, they're going to fire back at you. These cops are highly stressed. You got to understand. Some of these cops don't even come from environments that black folks come from and used to for us to housing projects. They ain't used to rats, roaches, welfare, four or five baby mamas, dudes out there slanging dope, shooting each other at night, vice versa. They ain't used to that. And then they indoctrinated through that police academy and other sources and they high stressful, high tense. Some of those guys are afraid and what do afraid people do? They fire. They fire on impulse. And that's what's happening. That's what's going down. You got this guy, this gruntle, uh, former employee, used to work at this uh, television station, shoots two of his fellow em employees, and then they try to uh, put a homosexual twist on it. Who cares about his sexuality? The tent was in his mind. So if he was heterosexual or not, it was going to happen anyway. Because it was dead. It was building up. First, you got to sit back, folks, and do your homework and see things from the right to the left, the left to the right, and, and, and sit back and study before you come on YouTube doing videos. And this stuff is n nothing new under the sun. She mentioned black folks are the most violent. No, 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 sister. We are not. The culture is violent. And let's stop this black thing. Like I keep telling people. That was so, I'm going to tell you what it is. It's social engineering by the demonic people you don't see. Racism was social engineering. So, I mean, social engineering. Racism was a subject they studied. They created. And we fall for the trick. White people and black people, vice versa. That was social engineering. See, that's what you got to understand. Black lives matter? No. Human life matters. We know what was done to us. Now, we need to correct it in 2015 and start living in 1818. You feel me? See, here's the, here's the trick. Now we're doing it to ourselves. We got all the history books, all the past historians that passed away, and we got historians now. You know... What happened to us? We know what happened to us. But how are we going to correct what happened to us? Now, the man don't have to bring out the rope no more. He don't have to bring out the tar and feather no more. The picnic. He don't have to do that no more. Because we self-doing it to ourselves. Every time we pick up a gun and kill one another. There's no excuse. Libraries out there for you to learn. Everything is at your hand. We got this, this, this generation of uh, smartphones. We got hotspots everywhere. I'm about to go to a Burger King and use their free internet to upload this when I get there and do it. So it's no excuse. It's no excuse. But we'll do it to ourselves. Oh, yeah. We sit there, bitch, excuse my expression, and complain about our dilemma. Oh, yeah. You got uh, Ben Carson. <clears throat> uh, uh. Dr. Ben, got Mr. Carson up there sh shooting out shots, what have you. Oh, well, he trying to run for president, I think, or something like that. I overheard that. Okay, it's all going well. Here's the thing. Violence is everywhere. Okay? We tend to leave the holy book out we tend to, we tend to leave the lord out and when you turn your back to the lord he turns his back on you when you shut the door to him he shut the door to you and to my audience and my viewers i'm not all a saint but i'm telling you something i, I don't lean on man's understanding i lean on god's understanding this is how I got to the age I am. 
I was born in 1975, so y'all do the math. Okay? And I'm saying dudes that I couldn't have had as sons that's dying way before their time. And that's a sad thing to older gentlemen like me. Because they've been cut down in the street because a lack of parenting, a lack of knowledge. And this is why people are continually, you know, they're just, they're just perishing because they do not realize that it's a high power. And if you do not, and if you do not live by that doctrine, you are open to demonic attack. This is nothing new under the sun. I was watching this forensic thing, and then there's people got to clean up dead bodies. I mean, they take the dead bodies out, the corner and all them, but they got to clean up the crew to get up all the brain matter and, and all the uh, body fluids and all the disgusting stuff people don't do on a regular basis. We have people, and I take my hats off and I commend myself, I mean, I commend those people, excuse me, for doing that because they're, they're a help to public service and they're a blessing. But let me get to the point of this by me saying that. Let me get to the point. It skipped my mind, but they do this job. Psycho violence. And there ain't no devil. The hand is axe, men and women do to each other, but there ain't no devil. That's why I use her name. People are enraged, folks. You got social media. These people, half of these people is, is going around the surface. They ain't getting to the core. You got people over there in Africa. You got people over there in the Middle East. You got people over in the Far East. If you don't respect this, my ideology, off with the head in my religion. We got to understand this is a human rights thing. It's not just, just centralized on our activism as black folks in our communities. You can't fight fire with fire. Those police get up every morning, they try to do the best they can. The drug dealers get up every morning and try to do the best they can to survive. Again, two wrongs don't make a right. Do I say that all the FOP is holding and dial? No, I do not, because you have corruption everywhere. You have corruption in the church. You have corruption... And every institution out here, the devil goes to the institutions to corrupt. That's it. that's his job, to create chaos amongst the human race so we all can die and perish away and, and throw a dagger in the most high. See, this thing you got to understand, we as people lean on our own understanding. We give God no credit in these days. And you wonder why these things keep transpiring, these things keep on going down. And the collective of the human psychic mind. And men played out on the streets every day in reality. Rapists, whoremongers. This was skip this, this was this what I said skip my mind. When they yeah, when they uh, I was talking about those people to clean up now came back to me. Clean up all the stuff after the aftermath. The people who clean up the uh, homicide aftermaths, one guy said drugs. Pornography and alcohol. It's a substance for murder. There you go. What do you see on the internet? You see everything. Bestiality. If God made us for that, we would be doing that. But he didn't make us for that. He made us to cohabitate. He made us to be with man, woman, woman, man. Have sex. Bring other human life into this world. Not no goddamn beast. And you wonder why we got AIDS. We wonder why we got syphilis, herpes, all these diseases, all these destroying us, eating us from the inside out, from the out to the inside, because we going over God's bounds. It's in the book. Y'all want to dispute the book? Well, I'm going to tell you something. I know uh, the council and them done some wrong stuff. Well, get the, get the tour. Get the Maccabees, get the Jubilees, get uh, the Book of Enoch, and get the Holy Bible and, and some other stuff and put it all together. 
and the Dead Sea Strokes. Put it together and figure it out for yourself. And it all sounds similar. It's been war since biblical days. And it's been war. Now it's war now. And he gave us a blueprint to follow the stuff so we won't have to continually keep going in this pathway we're going in. That's why I'm going hard on this. Y'all don't understand some of this stuff, which I need to understand. Everyone outraged. You should be outraged. You go against the grain, he told you this was going to happen. You keep going against the grain, you keep hitting the brick walls. You wonder why your relationship's going right. Because you got sexual deviancy. You got two people in the bed laying with each other and they love each other. You got all kinds of fetishes. You got all kinds of perverted uh, thoughts. Sometimes it's not even about sex, it's perversion. Why do women need toys in the mix? Why do men need toys? That's not normal. That's abnormal. And they're trying to make abnormal normal. And this is and it becomes dysfunctional. There you have it. You got men ain't working at their potential. Now you got these 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 doctors are death bringing out pills to get mad erect got erect. Why do you got erectile dysfunction? Drinking will screw you up. Smoking, drugging will screw you up. That's half of the problem. Diabetes, that's the main problem. That's because you're not eating right. You're not drinking right. So it messes with your sexual organs. Same thing with the woman. Just come on now, y'all. And you know we like pork chops, liquor, and all that good stuff and barbecues. Ain't nothing new to, under the sun. And when you get older, it plagues on you. I got to even stop what I'm doing. Or I'm going to be in that route. Dudes getting ball cancer, getting ass cancer. Let's put it where it supposed to be put. That's what it is. That's what it is. Same as women. Urine cancer, titty cancer, because they doing the wrong things to their body. You can have all the money in my all the money in the world. Like my mom said, you can have all the money in the world. But if you ain't healthy, you's a dead son of a gun. Money don't mean nothing because you ain't healthy. And she true on the nail about that. Peggy Hubbard. So sometimes topics come to me like she died. And it really awoken me, the username in this title to this video. And I hope y'all enjoy this because I might make a part two because I had to go in on this. And I reference those albums for the hip hop generation now so y'all can bring it on up to date and see the similarities and learn from all of my productions that it's a better way. And these guys is on a, man, I can go on. Now you got the guys that killed the cop in Chicago. Now there's a, there's a manhunt. Goddamn shame. Goddamn shame. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And just like he says in the book, if you don't come back, if you don't come back, no flush is going to, no flush going to be saved. No flush. And it's looking like that. Because I, I know I ain't the only one saying all this decapitation, all this, the, 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 the women doing diabolical things to their kids and the black man and the white cops shooting each other. Man, come on, man. Come on. How can you dispute the book? How can you, uh, man, come on. It's in the book. It's in many books. Put it all together. Connect the dots and figure it out for yourself. This goes for the ones that want to study and, st and not stay in dungeon all their life and stupidity. All of my productions to I love all of y'all. Man, woman, child, all of y'all. Grandmama, gra granddaddy, all of y'all. Aunts and uncles, all of y'all from the whole human race. Peace.